Hello and good afternoon everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Watzel with a look at your afternoon a video update for Tuesday, December 5th. All in all, it really hasn't been too bad of a day across the state as high pressure is built in overhead across the Rocky Mountain West, but those nuisance Pesky strong winds just will not go away across sections of Interstate 80. The good news is we are going to be dry through tonight across Wyoming, and those winds will remain elevated over the trouble spots between Rollins and Laramie during the overnight spilling over into early Wednesday. Temperatures will continue to warm a little bit tomorrow, especially along and east of the Continental Divide as that high-pressure ridge axis swings overhead before it starts to make its way eastward into the northern high plains. And winds will generally be breezy and a little bit strong through the afternoon and evening. Then late week conditions, we're talking in a Thursday and Friday, will circle back around to some similar events that started the week. That includes some mountain snowfall and some lower elevation winds. Through tonight, areas of Interstate 80 and the surrounding plains will continue to see some gusts of 35 to maybe up to 50 miles an hour. And that's been the case all day today, even though the high wind warnings that were in place through this morning were finally allowed to expire outright. We've continued to see some wind impacts between Rollins and Laramie, especially near that Arlington intersection. Gus still hovering around the 45 to lower 50 mile per hour range has kept some of those closures to enclose trailers under 40,000 gross vehicle weight intact throughout the day today. Otherwise, again, and not too bad, it will stay dry statewide. Outside of the areas highlighted below, winds will be light to breezy. Then again for Wednesday, we'll have a subtle changes. Winds will still be breezy in the southeast areas, but by late evening, we're talking after about 9 or 10 o'clock, we do expect some of those gusts to shift out of the west and southwest and get up to 55 and 65 miles an hour. We're going to once again look at I-80 between Rollins and Laramie, but may have to keep an eye on I-25 between Chugwater and Wheatland. And I also stretch this out to include Wyoming 28 South Pass, although gusts in general could be 40 to 50. Preliminary indications suggest that some even stronger gusts may be possible as we head into Thursday. For the western mountains and uh, valleys, will be dry through late evening, then some overnight snow showers. Not expecting much, maybe a trace to an inch, especially over the valley floors. The rest of the state along the plains will be dry through Wednesday night and Thursday morning. So for travel impacts, for now, we're going to focus the expected closures to enclosed trailers under 40,000 gross vehicle weight in the southeast areas, Along I-80 and 25, gusts 55 to 60 miles an hour will be expected after 10 p.m. Continuing into Thursday, the rest of the state more favorable conditions. Still watch out for some scattered slick areas and spots in the high elevation roads with winds breezy on the plains. And again, one spot to keep in mind will be Wyoming 28 South Pass with some stronger gusts Wednesday night and Thursday morning. And don't forget about those snow showers returning to the west. As we uh, head into after midnight Wednesday with that next trough, that's going to be swinging across the state, flattening the ridge and shifting it into the high plains. This is as of 5 a.m. on a Thursday. This little disturbance will start to bring the new round of mountain snow and lower elevation winds. Then fast forwarding about 18 hours to close out the week on Friday, we see a new trough digging further south as an open wave for the Front Range and Continental Divide. Assuming that this does hold, with a lot of the forecast guidance kind of coming together on this solution, we could see a brief period during the day Friday where some concentrated snow could impact areas around the summit, southern uh, snowy range mountains extending east along I-80, including Cheyenne, where some small accumulations of new snow may be possible with scattered snow showers elsewhere. Most of the snow would fall further south into Colorado. Don't forget you can always call 511 or visit yoroad.info for the latest updates. And of course, download the road and a travel information on your smartphone. Download the 511 app at yoroad.info. Thanks for listening and watching everyone. Have a great afternoon. We will talk to you again tomorrow.